Swathi Ganesh. And I'm Candice Matsumura. Today is Friday, September 21st. We'll begin with a look at what happened on campus over the past week. From Friday, September 7th to Sunday, September 16th, Nashville <laughs> hosted the annual Tennessee State Fair. It featured attractions, rides, games, arts and crafts, and food. Here's a look. Spinning wheels are, are, I mean, I get people who say, oh, that's obsolete and that's, you know, but then I'm like, no, actually, that's a very modern spinning wheel. So, and you'll see the others in there, the other spinners that have gone to the police, um, you will see different kinds of wheels. We did have a spinning contest, and it's three different contests. One is using your drop spindle, which I've sort of got. But yes, you use drop spindle and spin, and then we spun with our wheels, and then we all wore blindfolds. Really? Yes. I hate that we missed That's that. That's why you missed it. That's great. <laughs> you would have had a ball recording that with all of us in blindfolds. And yeah, we had some, we get a lot of comedy going on with talking to each other, and Justin was right here with me. It, it is a actually, important part of the agriculture for the state fair. But good question. But yeah, most of my stuff I, I have worn. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for telling <laughs> us about that. But go catch up with All right. Me. On Saturday, September 15th, Vanderbilt Programming Board's The Venue hosted live on the Commons from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. The national themed event featured free food, live music, and other activities to welcome students to the Vanderbilt VPB's The Venue Committee's mission to provide the Vanderbilt community with unique, interactive, and fun alternative programming events in a late night and weekend setting. All venue events are free. From Monday, September 10th through Friday, September 14th, the Vanderbilt Center for Latin American Studies class hosted Brazil Week. The celebration of Brazilian culture included various events, ranging from discussions to concerts. Senior Ian Herrera commented that, quote, as Americans in the hemispheric sense, we have the privilege and obligation to interact with the other cultural giant on this side of the globe. Brazil Week is the best time for Vanderbilt students to do this deliberately and intimately. Yesterday, on Thursday, September 20th, the Interfraternity Council members hosted their annual Lights on the Lawn benefit concert. The headliner for this year's concert was Steve Aoki, an EDM and Electra House DJ. All ticket proceeds from the concert went directly to the Mary Parish Center, a nonprofit that provides transitional housing for abused women. Now, let's check in with our sports correspondent, Madison for an athletics update. Hi guys, I'm Madison Foglio from Vanderbilt Women's Lacrosse Team and this is your weekly BU Sports Update. This past weekend, Vanderbilt football lost a hard-fought game to the number eight Fighting Irish at Notre Dame. While the final score was 17 to 22, thanks in a large part to a few unfortunate turnovers, Commodore fans should feel confident the team will have a competitive season. Looking forward, the football team kicks off SEC play tomorrow against the South Carolina Gamecocks at 3 p.m. here at home. Be sure to show up and show your support. In other parts of the Vandy sports world, the soccer team entered last night's game with a historic eight-game winning streak. Gladly, against Alabama, they extended it to nine. 
The soccer team will also take on Missouri this Sunday and hopefully will make it a 10 game winning streak. This Sunday, the Vanderbilt women's lacrosse team is hosting its first fall ball tournament of the year on the outdoor track field next to the rec. The Commodores will face off against Alabama Huntsville at 11 a.m. and finish off the day taking on Kennesaw State at 1.30 p.m. Please come out and support your Commodores this weekend. We really hope to see y'all there. That's all we have for sports news. To, now to report back to Swathy and Candace at the desk. Thanks, Madison. Uh, now for the upcoming events that you can look forward to. On Sunday, September 23rd, the Asian American Student Association is kicking off Asian Pacific American Heritage Month with their first ever night market at the South Patio Lawn on Commons. Multiple other cultural organizations and performing arts groups will be there to present a night of food and games from many different Asian cultures. The next Friday, on September 28th, the Ingram Commons is hosting Fall for the Arts, their traditional family weekend event. The outdoor festival will take place from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. on the Commons lawn. Students and their families are invited to enjoy crafts, music, food, dancing, and more. The Chancellor's Lecture Series recently announced their fall lineup. The event will kick off on Thursday, September 27th, with a talk from General Michael V. Hayden, former NSA and CIA director. The lineup also consists of Pulitzer Prize winning author Siddhartha Mukherjee and Temple Grandin. Siddhartha Mukherjee is a world renowned doctor, researcher, and author. Temple Grandin is a well known autism advocate and a livestock facility designer. Finally, let's take a look at the weather forecast for the coming week. Thanks, Candace. I'm Claire, and this is your seven day forecast. The next week is going to be filled with rainy days and cooler temperatures. Every day except Thursday has a high chance of showers or thunderstorms. On the bright side, the high temperatures this week will also be more moderate, ranging from around 72 degrees to a high of 83 degrees one day. And that's your seven day forecast. Now back to the news desk. Thanks Claire, and that's all we have for you this week on VTV News. I'm Swathi. And I'm Candice. Check back next Friday for the latest Vanderbilt updates.